Coach, you're getting a receiver this year for me to develop? And I thought when you benched me, you hated me. Oh, Marcus, those receivers are actually for the quarterback we're going to draft in next year's draft class. We want those receivers to develop him because uh, we don't really believe in you. You're actually just a bridge quarterback. Why am I here? What's going on, Falcons fans? Logan here. Welcome back to Rise Up Rundown. And if you're new here, welcome. So I did hint that I was going to talk about this in the last video I made. And here we are going over the topic. And it is another NFL draft topic for you all. And that is why I actually have opened up to the idea of the Falcons drafting a wide receiver early on in the draft. And if you remember, I was pounding my fist on the freaking table screaming out to the world I did not want to get a receiver early on in the draft I was so against it and while my first choice is to still get someone on defense and stay put at eight don't get me wrong that's still my first choice if I were the Falcons GM I have opened up to the idea of getting a receiver but uh, to a certain degree I don't think it should be a wide receiver at pick number eight, but rather it could be either trading down in the draft and getting a receiver late first round, early second round, or maybe we do get someone on defense at eight and then sometime else in the second round we get a receiver. Uh, so those are really the only reasons I would want a receiver in the early few stages of the draft. Um, and why do I open up to this? Well, granted, I, I wasn't expecting the Falcons receiving core to seriously dip off that bad. Calvin Ridley is out for the year. Uh, Russell Gage is not even with us anymore. He's with the Buccaneers. Alamine Sakias and then Christian Blake and everyone else. Eh, you could do better. Uh, and then I know the next few players I'm going to mention, they're not wide receivers, but, you know, they still are considered receivers. Uh, because they still run routes and catch balls. Hayden Hurst is not with us anymore. Cordero Patterson can't always run routes and play receiver. Kyle Pitts cannot seriously be your only receiver to throw to. You have to have a lot of wide receivers. And it has quickly become a huge need for the Atlanta Falcons. Is it their biggest need? No. But has it become one of their biggest needs? Yes. Uh, again, my first choice is get someone on defense, but... As long as you either trade down and get multiple picks and maybe get a receiver late first round, early second round, or maybe you do get someone uh, at pick number eight on defense and then somewhere in the second round you get a receiver, I'm okay with that. Um, because this offense, Arthur Smith would love to work with a great offense. I really do think he is the answer at head coach moving forward, but he's going to need some help. And so is Marcus Mariota. And while I do still believe that the quarterback should be the one developing the players, Marcus Mariota should still get a little bit of help out there uh, if he wants to succeed in Atlanta. But because we're not really expecting Marcus Mariota to stay for much longer, the Falcons are most likely going to try and draft Matt Ryan's replacement next year considering how good the quarterbacks are in next year's draft. I'm not seriously expecting the Falcons to get a quarterback in this year's draft class, um, or at least not their franchise quarterback. They're, they could maybe get someone that could be a backup for a little bit, but I'm just not expecting any of the quarterbacks in this year's draft to be the answer moving forward. But what about next year's draft, like with Bryce Young? Well, what if we just get the, one of those quarterbacks ready with one of the great receivers like Garrett Wilson and George Pickens, Jamison Williams, and Bryce Young? That would be an awesome college connection there. Um, you know, like it, it really could be an awesome sight to see. But we also would have to get a little lucky to get one of those quarterbacks because I'm not really expecting Arthur Smith to tank necessarily, even though I think it is a rebuilding year. I'm also not expecting the Falcons to pick number one next year, so we would have to kind of get a little lucky and see if we even pick that early to get one of those great quarterbacks, but probably, right? I mean, if it's a rebuilding year, you're probably going to have an early pick, uh, unless Terry Fontenot is willing to trade up a lot just to get to one of the top few picks and get a quarterback, but... Um, we'll see. The 2023 draft is definitely not for now. Let's focus on the 2022 draft. 
Those are the only reasons I would understand a receiver. Uh, again, I know I said it a lot, but my you know, personal pick is getting a defensive player at eight and fixing this defense early on. But if it were one of those two options I kept mentioning for wide receiver, then so be it. Uh, but those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I know it was quick, but uh, other than that, I hope you all stay safe. And as always, rise up.